Hi guys, welcome to another video and in today's video I will be unboxing both the Owl Crate and Fairy Loot April bookish boxes. I am so excited to be unboxing both for you guys and of course I want to give a big shout out to both Owl Crate and Fairy Loot for sending these boxes over to my house in exchange for an honest review and this is my first ever Owl Crate unboxing but I am honestly so excited. So let's first start off by unboxing the April Owl Crate box. Okay, so I'm here with the Owl Crate box. Oh my god, you don't know how excited I am. I have been obsessed with watching these unboxings myself and being able to say that I am an Owl Crate rep right now. It's just mind blowing. So if you want to get an Owl Crate subscription box for yourself, you can use my code Sabine and you will get 10% off of your subscription. So I am very excited to show you what is inside of this box. As per usual, I will leave all the creators for the items in the description box down below as well. So definitely check that out. I hear like this exciting sound and I want to find out what it is. <laughs> will my room be a mess? After this, maybe a little bit. So here is the spoiler card for April's theme, which is Ruthless Rivals. And this contains all of the like spoilery information about the products and everything. So I'm not gonna have a look at that right now. Let's grab the first thing that is on top of this box. Ooh, okay. And they included this on their Instagram post. This is a spectacular cinnamon hazelnut coffee made by Fable Grounds Coffee. And I do drink my fair share of coffee. <laughs> I think I drink about like, a cup of coffee every single day. So I'm very excited to try this flavor. I love cinnamon, I love hazelnut, so this sounds delicious. Next up, oh my god, this is so cool. This is what was clinging. Oh, how unfortunate <laughs> that I am a white girl who doesn't know how to eat with sticks. I also don't eat sushi. I don't like sushi. I don't even know how to properly hold these. And I don't wanna give it a go because then you guys will mock me. Isn't it that you like have to Oh my god. <laughs> Do you have to put one of these sticks right here and then you put the other one between these fingers? But I like, I just, I never know. <laughs> oh my god. I never know how to grab things with it. Is it like this? Am I doing it right now? I don't know. Oh my god, it feels so unstable in my hand. But I will definitely be able to make my sister super happy with these because my sister, she loves herself some sushi, so that will be neat either way. Okay, I'm pretty damn sure that these like chopsticks are inspired by these Violent Delights by Chloe Gong because on the white ones it says the white flowers and this one says the Scarlet Gang. And then you have this like super cute case with it so you can take this with you if you want to go picnicking or something. The stars incline us, they do not bind us. And then on the other side, it says Astra Inclinant Set Son Obligant. Which I feel like is the same quote, but then in Latin, question mark. <laughs> Next up, ooh, what is this? Etc. And this is, oh, it's a game. Challenge fellow fiction-loving friends with categories that were designed just for bookworms. Readers will need to rack their bookish brains to score points in this fast-paced game of library lists. Oh my god, and now that I remove the packaging, Look at how shiny that looks and it feels super velvety and matte. So I'm gonna guess it's like a bookish list type of game. So now I will just have to wait before I can meet up with all of my reader friends in one room so that we can play this together. Next up, we have a little pouch right here that says history has its eyes on you. Gorgeous hand lettering. Is this gonna be a pin? Like they do have monthly pins, I believe. Ooh, oh my God. Wait, is this for your phone? Which is so cool. I personally love these phone holders because it just, it feels super secure. But with this one, you can put little like cards in it as well, or maybe a little bit of money. Next up, okay, here is the monthly pin. It is super big and very, very pretty. Oh, and I believe that it's always inspired by the monthly, like the included book. I do know. Like I have a gut feeling of which book is gonna be included in this box. And I think that this is the last item before, Okay, I saw the book. <laughs> Before we're gonna get into the book and it's gonna be like a shawl maybe, or I don't know what this is. Ooh, okay, it feels soft. Ooh, it's a pillowcase, yes. And it says, oh my God, the excitement. It says, conquer your fear and you can conquer the world. I absolutely adore like the hint lettering and the design of this one. That looks so pretty. Like I said, I think that that is the last item in this box and oh my God. You know, with Fairy Loot, they always have a pouch around the book, so it's like a double surprise, but I'm very excited for this one. Okay, and the Owl Crate exclusive edition book for April is 
Witches Steeped in Gold by Cyanon Smart. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the author's name, but it looks so pretty already. I think this one is gray instead of green. I have heard so many amazing things about this book already, especially from Joel. He has been raving about this ever since he got the ARC. So here you have the exclusive letter, which I will read um, after recording this video. So let's read the synopsis together. Raya Adair has spent her life in a cell. Heir to an overthrown and magically gifted dynasty, she was exiled from her home on the islet nation of Aisha when just a child. But every day brings her closer to freedom and vengeance. Jasmine Carriott grew up dressed in gold with stolen magic at her fingertips. Daughter of the self-crowned Doyen, her existence is a threat to her mother's rule. But unlike her sister before her, Jasmine has no intention of dying to strengthen her mother's power. Sworn enemies, the two witches enter a deadly alliance to take down the woman who threatens both their world. Doyen carry it. But revenge is a bloody pursuit and nothing is certain except the lengths Araya and Jasmine will go to win this game. Oh, maybe, I don't know, do they have exclusive? <gasps> Guess they do have exclusive things, I think. So, oh my gosh, first of all, it has a beautifully embossed tree on the cover. And I'm gonna guess we also have exclusive art in the dust jacket. That is so pretty, look at this. Like these bookish boxes have been stepping up their game in the past year with all these exclusive designs on the dust jackets and oh my gosh, look. Look at that spine, it's so pretty. And then for May's theme, we have Expect the Unexpected. And if I'm looking at this artwork, I have a feeling of the book that's gonna be included in that box. And let me just say that I'm very excited if that is gonna be their May pick. And now let's go on to Fairy Loot's April box as well. So I also received my March Fairy Loot box. This month's theme was Frozen Fables and in contrast to that theme, it is super sunny. <laughs> Here we go. We have, first of all, a mug and I love mugs. I can never have enough. I know my mom disagrees with me. But this is a The Bear and the Nightingale ceramic mug designed by Mona Lime Art and I love ceramic mugs. Ooh, okay, it has a really cute snowflake on the inside. <gasps> And the artwork is stunning as usual. Although I haven't read The Bear and the Nightingale, but I am planning on doing so sometime in the future. For right now, I am loving this design. Oh yes, okay, I see some socks and I am always in desperate need of socks because I don't know how, but I always get holes in mine. And this is a Even the Darkest Stars ankle socks and I have that book. It is this one right here and we got sent this beautiful Fairy Loot edition a couple of years ago and I have yet to read it, but I've heard amazing things about this one. And these socks look really beautiful. It has has a little fox on it as well and they just feel super nice and blue is also my favorite color next up ooh, oh okay I think that this is a hairband I love the design of this one it has like a beautiful mention on it and like birds and nature things I think it looks really cute I don't know if I want to like show you what my head looks like with this thing on okay let's do it how do you wear these things with it looking stylish i look awful with it oh my god <laughs> oh my god i see a stunning notebook look at this one i think i know which like book or series it is inspired by i would say winter song but i don't have that book i've never really heard what it is about but it is like a ring band a5 notebook and on the back it says a candle unused is nothing but wax and wig I would rather light the flame knowing it will go out than sit forever in darkness and this is oh just plain paper it is not lined or dotted so maybe nice to use as like a sketchbook or something here we have I think maybe the last item before the tarot cards and the book Ooh, oh this is gorgeous oh my god this is an awesome item we have here a winter wood phone ring holder and it feels super sturdy Ooh, and you can even like twist it around and the design on it says be your own light now i haven't read winterwood but i have read the wicked deep by this author and i personally love that book so i'm very interested in reading winterwood that wasn't the last item we also have a very pretty art print i don't know who this is inspired by maybe it's from the book maybe it's from somewhere else but it has some silver foiling on it the two tarot cards that are 
featured in this box are the Two of Wands and Ace of Wands. And maybe it's a Bear and the Nightingale inspired set? I have no clue. <laughs> but the last thing in the box is, of course, the book. It feels rather thin. Usually I always know what book it's gonna be. This time around, no clue. So let's just pull it out together and see what it is. Wow, okay. It is a very, very beautiful one. Look at that metallic sheen. It's called The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinkowski, I think. And it has like silver blue sprayed edges with glitter on it. Let's see if the inside of the dust jacket or the cover itself has some special fairy loot things on it as well. It is signed by the author and the end pages are really gorgeous. And I see that there's some artwork on here and a little embossed thingy on the front of the cover. Ooh, oh, I really like this art style. <gasps> It makes me want to be in the mountains so much. I love that Fairy Loot does this with, I believe, most of their editions right now. It is my most favorite thing about their special editions. 17-year-old Valeria is one of the only survivors of the Freeze, a dark magical hold not mountain unleashed on her village. Everyone, including her family, is trapped in an unbreakable sheet of ice ever since she's been on the run from the Xar, who is determined to imprison anyone who managed to escape. Valeria finds refuge with the thieves guilt, doing odd jobs with her best friend Alik, the only piece of home she has left. That is, until he is brutally murdered. A year later, she discovers Alik is alive and being held against his will. To buy his freedom, she must lead a group of cutthroats and thieves on a peri perilous? I never know how to say that word. Expedition to the very mountain that claimed her family. Only something sinister slumbers in the heart of Knot. And it has waited years for release. I haven't heard anything about this book. I have never heard anyone talk about it. So I am interested to see whether this is something that I really like. I never really pick up like wintry books during the winter times and especially right now like spring is coming around the corner. So I feel like I will be putting off reading this until the winter times. Perhaps I should give that a go. Overall, I think that this was a great box and I'm very happy with everything that was inside of it. Okay, my hair looks a bit crazy, but that's because I went into the shower and then I like put the stuff in my hair and now it looks a bit crusty. But please don't mind that, but... Oh wait, this is... <laughs> I was gonna say, I received my fairy loot box, but this is an empty one. <laughs> Here is the full April fairy loot box and I'm very excited to open this one and see what all the items will be in here as well. Let me put you maybe a little bit more to the background. I think I've mentioned it in this video already, but I'm pretty damn sure that the book inside of this box will be the same as the one in Owl Crate. So let's see how the two editions compare. Ta -da! <laughs> so this is the beautiful spoiler card. I always love the artwork so much. And this month's theme is hidden identities. I, again, will not be looking at the spoiler card. Okay, and the first thing that I see is a little paper pouch. And what is it gonna be? A pin? I don't know. Yes, it is a pin. Ooh, from the Diva Bot trilogy. And good thing is I have a book haul coming up, as you, as you can see. I got a lot of books for my birthday and just over the past couple of months in general. And I do have City of Brass. This one is City of Brass. You just have to believe me, but this is a gorgeous enamel pin. And on the pin, it says greatness takes time. We should all remember this, okay? <laughs> when we doubt ourselves, when we have imposter syndrome, greatness takes time time. That is so pretty and it has like a little moon inside of it. It's so beautiful and created by Icy Designs. Next up, I think we have a tote bag and oh, oh my god, do you know how many tote bags I own? It's not okay. But, ooh, okay, I have a feeling that I know which fandom this is inspired by, but let's just show you the artwork. I think that this is from the From Blood and Ash series, is it? Yes, Blood and Ash tote bag and Again, book call coming soon might feature that book. It looks so pretty. So now let's hope that I will love that series as much as a lot of other people do because this is a stunning toad bag. And on the back, it just has like a little repeating pattern on it. And the toad bag feels nice and sturdy. Sometimes you also get those toad bags that are a little soft and a little flimsy. This one feels really good. So I might swap it out with a tote bag that I already own because I literally have too many tote bags. Next up, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so these were kind of like loosely thrown into the box, but I feel like maybe the packaging is missing or it's like a little extra, but we have 
gorgeous bookmarks in this box wow that is so pretty i will of course show you guys all of these like close-ups i am not too sure of which series they are i'm gonna say this one is definitely an ember in the ashes this one might be like spin the dawn or something like that and with this one i have no clue but they have very pretty character art on it and beautiful gold designs and i love myself some good bookmarks <laughs> they are so pretty <gasps> Oh my god, I love them so much! Next up, we have a little pouch right here. I feel like it's gonna be like a soap. Yes, Cherry Blossom Soap inspired by Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. Well, that was actually the first fairy loot box that I bought myself, is the one that featured this book. I started it, and I DNF'd it. <laughs> it was not for me, I think. It was very slow, and I didn't really like it, but let's smell the soap. Oh, and it is a cruelty-free and vegan-friendly soap, so that is amazing. Oh, it's from Little Heart Gifts. They have featured items with them before so let me smell it Ooh, that smells really nice fresh and a little sweet and flowery but not too flowery i'm not a big fan of flowery scents but this one smells perfect that's so great oh, i love this these are so pretty wow we have some gorgeous bookends these are i'd say like an archway and then trees who are like reaching to each other like i don't know where to leave my books anymore as you guys can tell but i feel like if you have these gorgeous bookends you can put it on like a different shelf or closet and you will have some gorgeous bookends wow they feel super sturdy as well okay so those were all the items we still have the two tarot cards left so we have eight of wands and seven of wands no clue who these characters are as per usual but now we have the book and i'm very excited to see what the special fairy loot edition will look like so here we go let's open it <gasps> okay purple sprayed pages and let's see here we have oh my god okay <laughs> i was so convinced that both boxes would have the same book and it's not so my mind is blown and oh wow okay so this is the prison healer by lynette noni i have heard some things about this book but i don't know a lot about it but look at how these sprayed pages are on the back it says don't let her die we are coming and then you have some like puzzly words on the back i have no clue it's even quoted by sarah j mass okay let's have a look underneath the dust jacket shall we always oh, so exciting <laughs> i didn't know it could get even more exciting <gasps> wow oh my god i love that they have been doing these like special embossments on the front cover because that is so stunning it's like character art inspired by the book of course and then inside of the dust jacket it is very shiny so i'm hoping that you guys can see what it looks like but it is purple it is gorgeous and we have again some characters in a beautiful garden oh my god let me read the synopsis for you guys here at Zunlindov, the only person you can trust is yourself 17 year old kifa maradon is a survivor for 10 years she has worked as the healer in the notorious death prison Zalindov, making herself indispensable kept afloat by messages of hope from her family kifa has one goal and one goal only stay alive then one day the infamous rebel queen arrives at the prison on death's door and kifa receives a new message don't let her die we are coming. The queen is sentenced to the trial by ordeal, a series of elemental challenges against the torments of air, fire, water, and earth assigned to only the most dangerous of criminals. Aware the sickly queen has little chance of making it through the trials alive, Kiva volunteers to take her place. If she succeeds, both she and the queen will be granted their freedom, but no one has ever survived. And with an incurable plague sweeping Zalindov, <laughs> we love plagues. <laughs> No, we don't. A mysterious new inmate fighting for Kiva's heart and a prison rebellion brewing, Kiva can't escape the terrible feeling that her trials have only just begun. Both of these boxes were absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with the books that they picked because I've heard of amazing things about the prison healer and especially about witches steeped in gold. So I'm very happy to have been able to receive them. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and why. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below and hopefully i will see you guys in the next one bye